Good morning everyone, happy Sunday, I hope you're all having a, a great day. Um, I'm trying to have a quite a relaxing day if I can because I've got a busy few weeks coming up at work so I don't think I get much chance to, to post any videos or do any hauling for that matter. Um, yesterday I went into my local town which is very small because I live quite rurally. Um, however we have had a new pound shop open up um, which I've never really had the opportunity to go into before. But I went in really just for some doggy bags, um, for some dog waste bags because I don't want to pay too much for those. And I was very surprised to see some Yankee um, Simply Candle range, um, or Simply Home range even. Um, so for instance here, if I bring it a little closer, um, you see it's the uh, Sweet Vanilla Yankee Candle Simply Home. Now I believe these ranges, I've never had these before, I believe these ranges are made for supermarkets. Um, so it's the cheaper end of Yankee if you like. Um, however, I did burn this one yesterday, I got four of these, they were on for two for a pound, um, which I found quite... Um, well, quite surprising really, 50 pence each, um, even if the throw wasn't brilliant, I was still going to get a few. But I believe that in the UK they're actually changing from Simply Home to, I think it's Home Inspirations, or something similar to that, I've not seen any yet, but I believe these have been phased out, hence probably why the pound shops have got them. So I did go ahead and pick up four of the sweet vanilla. Um, I tend to burn my tarts half at a time because um, they can be a bit overpowering um, in, in some fragrances, so I do half at a time. And I'm glad I did with this one because this one was so strong. Um, if I'd have known how nice these were, I probably would have picked up um, the jars from the supermarkets. But like I said, they've been phased out. They're probably going to come back and exactly the same fragrance is just different packaging. Um, so uh, yes, this one had to actually move upstairs. It was that strong. Um, it absolutely blew my socks off, so it had to go upstairs. But yeah, really glad I bought four of these. Um, I also go ahead and picked up four of the tangerine and vanilla. Um, I've not burnt any, excuse me if you can hear beeping going on in the background, that's my dog, she actually got a new toy today, um, if she'll give me it, she's uh, wanting to fight, leave, she's wanting to fight with me but she uh, she got one of these yesterday, so if you can hear lots of beeping and things going on in the background, um, that's what it is. So this one is the tangerine, tangerine and vanilla. Um, yeah, it smells really nice. Um, I don't really get the vanilla. Um, I get a sweet tangerine smell, kind of like a candied tangerine in that one. Um, so again, I got four of these because they were two for a pound. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know how they, they burn when I get round to it. Um, I do incidentally have my tea light on today. I don't know if you can see it over in the background here. And I'm actually burning at the moment um, the Simply Home Cherry Vanilla. Now I have had this scent before. Um, although I think it was in the main Yankee line, so it may not be named the same, but it does smell like a scent I've had before. Um, and I've got half of the uh, half of the milk going on there as well. Um, this one, yeah, it's quite similar actually to the cherries on snow. I mean, it's not as nice by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it's quite similar to that. Um, it's a bit of a messy tart, is this one? Um, I think it's going to get burnt next. It's a bit, it's gone into uh, <laughs> into bits. I don't know if you can hear it shaking there, but. Um, yeah, it's a nice scent. We'll see how that one goes. Like I say, it's only just started to melt in the, the melt burner, so I can't tell you about the throw of it just yet. Um, next, I picked up four of the Simply Home uh, Sunflower, Summer Flowers even. Um, lovely yellow colour there. Um, I can't really smell this one too much in the packaging. Um, I think it's been kind of stored next to um, the ch cherry, because that's all I'm kind of picking up, but I'm guessing it smells kind of floral, flowery. Um, thought that'd be quite nice to have a bit of a... A floral blast when I'm in the mood so I've got four of these as well because these were also two for a pound and then lastly um, from the pound shop um, I picked up um, this margarita party now I've never been able to get hold of margarita time in in the Yankee um, which I believe is a, is a lovely scent now I do get lime from this one um, kind of lemon and lime really from the lemons uh, no it's, it's all lime in the picture um, so I'm not sure um, how this one's gonna perform but again for 50 pence each um, you can't go too far wrong, so I'll let you know once I start burning that one. Um, next up, just a few of the things that I bought. Um, these are not from the pound shop necessarily. Um, they're from a, a shop called, uh, I think it's Home Bargains or something similar to that. These are actually, they are wax, strangely. It is a wax, so you can put your nail in that. It looks quite rustic. But they're actually the LED ones, um, which I find quite handy. I mean, you probably won't be able to see... Um, the effect of these because obviously it is daylight at the moment but they're quite nice ambience on a night and I have these placed, I had them on last night, I have these placed on my um, wood burning stove obviously when it's not switched on, if it was obviously <laughs> the wax would melt when the, when the stove's not switched on I have it um, on there and what I have it with because it's also green um, is my candle lantern um, 
Now the candle that I've got in here, I've had a little while as you can see, um, it's actually a candle by a company, a UK company called Melt, um, and it's a company that I really, really like. Um, the candles themselves are fairly expensive, um, I think, I might be wrong, but I think they're about 16, 17, 50 for the tall and thin candles. Now the candle, it's, it's half in size there, it just normally comes right up to the top of here when it's a new candle. In fact, I think I've got, yes I have. Um, I have the packaging that it comes in there. This is a full one that I'm going to give as a gift, so I've not actually opened it. And it comes in the scent Eden, and it says simply on this packaging, everything in its place, there for you, all that you need, uh, unfolding before your eyes in Eden. And it's a blend of herbs, spices, precious woods, and of course, fig. It's just a really nice, clean, uh, outdoorsy, woodlandy scent. It's, um, it's lovely. They're, they're really nice candles. I'm not sure what wax is used in them, it could be a soy wax, but I'm not 100% certain, but they're all essential oils and they're all hand poured. Um, the lovely, lovely fragrances. I do actually have um, some of the bigger ones as well. If I just move these down, because it's a fair, ooh, a fair old, uh, fair old weight on this next one. So this is one of the biggest size that you can commercially buy. I think you can contact the company and get bigger candles. But this is the biggest one that they do that you can buy off the website, and I think these are about 37.50 something like that so yes they are fairly expensive but it's a lot of wax for your money it really is um you can see i've burnt this one it's not really taken anything down from the sides but i've burnt this one um, a good few times probably five or six times and uh, maybe five hours more plus um and i don't worry too much about the tunneling on this one i mean it could it's such a big candle you, you could have that on 10 hours and you still wouldn't get to the sides all i generally do is i take off the top when it gets down too far and I chop it up for a melt warmer and I get the fragrance out of it that way. Um, but again, a gorgeous candle. It's the same scent as the one I showed you previously. Um, really do like melt. Excuse me, that's really heavy. Um, I have a few other ones. Um, if I open up this, this box here. Um, I ha also have it in Hush, which is like a lovely creamy pinky shade. You can see I've had this one quite a while because I have burnt it down quite a lot the same size as the Eden one that I showed you previously um, and this one such a feminine it's very gentle feminine chalky floral um, scent um, really relaxing I generally have this on if I'm working from home I'll, I'll light it nice and early in the afternoon um, and, and let this go all day and it's just it's just there it's just in the background it's not in your face it's just gently there it's such such a nice candle I really do like something I will definitely repurchase one of these um, yeah really nice uh, and then lastly is one that I'm going to include probably in an empties video. Now I'm a bit of an annoying burner um, because I don't like to have the same scent going all the time. Um, so it takes me a long time to get through candles because I'm always switching them up. Um, one day I'll have a Yankee, the next day I'll have something else and I get bored of the scent so I like to move on. Um, this one here um, is another melt one and this was a tall and thin, very much like the one, the green one in the lantern. And this is in the scent Nutmeg and Vetiver. And this is a, a really lovely scent. Um, it's quite woodsy, it's quite spicy, but it's gentle. It's not too much in your face. Um, it's just gently there. It, it's it's a really nice, I would say, autumnal candle. Apologies for that. That's, again, my dog playing with her toy in the background. Um, there's no point taking her off it because she'll fight me for it. Um, this one, as you can see, the wick is completely gone. Um, I've used it all up there. There's nothing more to... Nothing more to really do with this one other than chop it up for my uh, for my wax melter. Um, so I don't waste any of the candle, it does get used that way. But this is my, it didn't come in this, this is my lantern jar which um, which uh, I just pop it in there. It's a perfect size and it just allows it to melt down like a votive would do. Um, so that's really my, my candle haul for, for this, this time. I do have a small empties video which I'll upload next if I have time. Um, like I said, I am a bit of an annoying burner in the fact that I don't really stick to one scent. I like to switch it up, so um, it's not, not much of uh, an empties, but I shall post it anyway. Well, have a great Sunday, everybody, and uh, hope it, the week goes nice and fast. The weekend comes round again pretty quick. See you next time. Bye.